So a sequence is essentially just a pattern of numbers, like the one that you see here. And we use a certain notation to allow us to describe and refer to specific things in the sequence. Uh, today here we'll explore the uh, subscript notation. With subscript notation we use a letter, often A, just to describe that we're talking about something in a sequence. And we use a number to refer to the position of the thing in a sequence. Because 7 is the first thing in our sequence, we could call that A sub 1. 10, 13, and 16 are A sub 2, 3, and 4, respectively. They're the second, third, and fourth thing in the sequence. So then think about it. What is 25 going to be? How would I write that using the subscript notation? That's right, it's the seventh number in the notation. So seven is its position, and we refer to that as a sub seven. So with that background on what the subscripts mean, sometimes you'll see where we have a variable subscript. In other words, in this case, we have a formula that allows us to find a sub n for any value of n. Uh, put differently, it allows us to find any element of our sequence based on its position. So if I'm going to solve this, I would just plug in to n here, and then of course in the formula, uh, whatever position I'm interested in. Let's say for example, and following this formula, which does um, incidentally relate to original sequence, say I wanted to know the 20th thing in this sequence. One thing I could do is just keep going, add 3, add 3, add 3, but this formula is going to show me what the 20th thing in the sequence is going to be. So in this case, finding the 20th element that's saying, well, what is a 20? What is the 20th element? So I put 20 into my formula, and I follow order of operations to solve. 21 minus 1 is 19. Then I do 19 times 3 and add 7 to the result, and I get 64. So I've basically used this explicit formula to find the 20th thing in this sequence. If I listed out 20 terms here, the 20th one would be 64. Thank you.